Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use custom fonts in Quest. And I'm going to just do that by exporting this custom component that I have here. And just want to point out the fonts that I have right now. Uh, right here, we have a special custom font I have. It's called Articulate CF. Below that, I have a Roboto, but that is a Google font. So basically, I'm going to show you how to make sure that you're uploading things and getting them looking good in Quest itself. So what we're going to do right here quickly and easily is just go over here and go to the plugins and I'm going to import this for the first time and just let that run. Now we're going to view this in quest and take a look at it and everything looks good except this right here. That's not articulate. That is some sans serif. That is a serif font and I don't know what that is. Probably times. This is Roboto. That looks good. The button looks good as well. Uh, don't uninstall Quest just yet. There's a very good reason for this. Uh, I don't work in the Figma legal department, but I can promise you that they are not allowed to distribute fonts. So we don't get the font from Figma when you import it. We don't get that through the API. The plugin won't get that for you. You're going to have to install that font into Quest to see it working yourself. And that's very easy to do. So we're just going to do that right now. I'm just going to go over to the app settings. And from here, we're just going to scroll to the bottom. You can see display fonts. Now you can learn more about it here, but I'm just going to jump right into it. We're going to go right here, import a font. I'm going to select my font. I'm going to search for articulate. And I think it was uh, heavy. I know it was a heavy font. I'm going to upload that. If you don't know what weight that is, uh, every font has its own font weight. This one specifically is heavy, so it's going to be 900. And the name of the font needs to be inputted here. So let's put that in. Make sure I spell that right. Articulate. And then it's space CF, if I remember correctly. Articulate CF, that is what I had installed. Or that's the custom font I'm using, I'm sorry. I'm going to hit import. And we can see it here. We can see the font weight. You can delete it if you got it wrong. Uh, now I'm just going to go back to my project. And whoa, it doesn't. that's not right. That's still wrong. Uh, let's just quickly reload the screen, reload the browser, and now it's going to bring in that font for you correctly. So there you go. That is how you bring in your custom fonts. If you're using a Google font, we're going to just auto detect that for you and put that into place because that is a library for that, but we don't have custom fonts so that you would put that in. Now, the last thing to mention is this is good to use. Even if you're using Google fonts, maybe you just want to export your entire app so you can go back to the export settings here export that app. But what I would do is also check this little thing here, include imported fonts with export. Now, anything that I install here, anything that I import here will come through with the app itself. So just nice and handy, easy to use. And that's it. That's how you use custom fonts.